Aren't you being all attentive and cute? Yes, you, you. So we're gonna go out in the backyard and I trained her how to use the door, the doggy door. It's very big for her, but watch, stay there. Oh, we missed the door. Ah, that's my girl, that's my girl. My garbage cans are full right now, so I can't, I can pick up a little bit of dog poop, but the cans go out today, so that's fine. Then I'm gonna put this with a free sign on it. it. It, you know, getting rid of this TV stand and putting the TV on the wall brought out so much space. It made it so much better. Hey, get out of there. Nope, 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 nope. Folded a little laundry today. This morning I hung it up yesterday. Got the bag all raring to go, but it's too hot. It's too hot and um, muggy, like a uh, just. It's monsoon season, so that 110 degree heat in the nice dryness. It's not dry no more. <laughs> it's. It's like, a, what's the word? It's, it's just, there's a lot of moisture in the air. And so like, I'm sweating just sitting here. I'm, I'm, all I'm doing is sitting in my jammies and I'm a sweating. We hit the 4,000 watch hours on this little tiny rinky dink puppy channel. So yay. So I'm gonna monetize today. And I also have an eBay sale that I need to take down to the post office when they open. It's only, what, like 7.30 in the morning right now. And this is my washing machine that I use most of the time. I have a regular washer and dryer. But um, I don't use it because it uses 37 gallons. We're in an extreme drought. That one uses five. And then I take the water... I take the water from that and then I have this bucket here and then I take the water and I drain it into the bucket and then the bucket goes and waters the plants or flushes the toilet or cleans the floors or whatever you call it and sometimes the water I put in there is water from the bathtub because I'll plug the drain when I take a shower and uh, I'll use that water and I'll water my laundry saving even more gallons. In California, there's this sense of community, right? You don't get that here in Arizona. Here it's wild, wild west, every man for himself. And uh, nobody cares. Like nobody cares about conservation or their neighbor or, you know, how can we improve the community? How can we make a difference? In California, it's different. It's like, okay, we're in a water shortage. Okay, everybody cut down, cut back, do what you can, take shorter showers, uh, you know, use your water to water your plants and instead of using the garden hose. Here, everybody's like, I pay for it. So why would I use less if I'm paying for it? Well, they only charge about 10 bucks every for every thousand gallons. I think, yeah, for every thousand gallons. So there's no reason to conserve because it's only a $10 difference. Nobody cares about that. So my personal belief is that they should charge per gallon. But that's just me. And I checked my water, my water usage. And on my bill, it shows you compared to regular homes and efficient homes. And I'm at par with efficient homes, but I can do better. That the, um, the last time they measured it was when I had a roommate and he used about 50 gallons a day. So, um, I can cut it down to about 20, 25 gallons a day. And that's without, that's with minimal effort. When I use a lot of effort, I can cut it down to 10 gallons a day. And that, uh, that what I do with that is I'll take a shower. Well, first of all, I'll fill up a five gallon bucket, right? And then I'll use that five gallon bucket for drinking, uh, cooking and, and cleaning, dishwashing because that's the hardest one uh, is dishwashing saving on money on or saving water on dishwashing 
And then um, I'll just take a super short shower. And then if I have to do laundry, I'll take the shower water, put it in there. I'll do my laundry and then I'll hang my laundry and I'll take that water and I'll use that to flush the toilets and water the plants and I'll hang dry my clothes. So, it, and that's, that's, you know, if you take a look at Cape Town, South Africa, they did a lot more than I do. You know, they would take the, the one thing I won't do or haven't done unless I have to is take the, would you get out of there? Get out of there. Is take the, a bucket and put it under my sink like when you wash your hands and do your dishes they did that um, I don't do that because it's a hassle but I would if I had to anyway that's what I got for y'all today we're just chilling chilling like villain in my messy backyard talk to you tomorrow